the way the basketball falls isn't synchronized with the movement of the net. Also, because of the QuickTime animation's initial duration, its lifespan and visibility are limited. By selecting the block representing the layer and moving it to the right in the dope sheet, we can slow down or speed up the timing of the net animation. While doing this, you'll notice that a number appears beside the playhead. If you move the playhead, the number will move in the same way. This horizontal movement implies a temporal shift, which is represented in the Properties panel under the Retiming section. This section is also visible in the stack because any parameter displayed in the Properties panel is also visible in the stack. This parameter, which represents the time offset that was caused by moving the block, is represented in three different ways. The first that you see is in the form of a timecode. It's important to note that the values in the timecode are determined by the frame rate. Then there's the time offset in frames and in seconds. The time offset here, for example, is negative 0.4 seconds. By default, the time offset is determined by the frame rate, so you can't move a layer between frames. But you can get rid of this constraint by pressing the Control or Command key to move a layer between frames. The time offset displayed in seconds makes more sense in this context, since it's more precise than when it's displayed with the timecode or in frames. This more precise way of moving is particularly useful when synchronizing sound elements with images. Moving the block again in the dope sheet without pressing Control or Command will automatically re-enable snapping to the nearest frame. Setting a time offset of negative 0.4 seconds will synchronize the net animation with the basketball's movement, as long as the position values and the distance between the keyframes are the same. In this video, we went over how to access retiming parameters, adjust the timing of a block in the dope sheet, and make timing adjustments between frames.